Hello everyone, my name is Ian Smith. I'm the admissions tutor for the civil engineering programs here at Heriot Watt University. And I'm going to spend a few minutes telling you about the degree programs which we offer in civil engineering. Our programs are both Bachelor of Engineering and Master of Engineering. The Bachelor of Engineering programs are four years long, the Master of Engineering are five years long, and they are available in these titles that you see on the screen. Our teaching methods, there's a fair bit of classroom teaching. It's an engineering subject, so you'd expect a fair amount of maths and physics in the courses. But you'll also spend a quite a bit of time uh, in the laboratory. It's, civil engineering is a very practical-based profession, so you will spend quite a bit of time in laboratories doing experimental work, which links to the theory that we'll cover in the classrooms. You'll be involved in learning how to design structures and also how we construct structures, but not just structures, of course, everything that's covered in the topic of civil engineering. So that's roads, bridges, railways, structures, dams, whatever it may be. We work a lot with industry through our uh, offering of our degrees and you will spend quite a bit of time going out onto construction sites to see the civil engineering profession actually in real life. So we'll organise various field trips throughout your time with us. I mentioned the laboratories a few minutes ago. We have pretty well uh, state-of-the-art lab facilities. In some respects, they're world-class. We do a lot of research in our department, and some of that research requires really uh, top-notch equipment, large-scale testing equipment. And if ever you get the chance to visit the campus, and I encourage you to try to, try to do so, you will see these facilities firsthand. Typically, the timetable, we would teach four courses per semester and you would be expected to be in class in years one, two, and three uh, for about 18 hours per week. Uh, we'd also expect you to do about, do about the same amount of hours as self-study. Within that contact time on campus, there will be lectures, there will be tutorials, and there will be quite a bit of lab work. In later years, the amount of contact time reduces because we expect the students to do a lot of self-study on their own work and on especially on their dissertation type work uh, towards the end of their degree programme. We have a large number of optional subjects available in later years and that allows students who have got a particular passion in a particular discipline to choose specific options to help them boost their learning ahead of graduation and entering the profession. Years one and two are fairly common, fairly standard subjects, but in the later years you can really choose a lot of individual options to choose your own preference. I mentioned already that you will go out on various field trips. Uh, you will also get a chance to go on to the construction area project in the second year. This is a week-long intensive programme where you learn a lot about uh, construction skills, uh, pouring concrete and respecting site safety and learning all about the different roles that take place on site. And in year five, in the MNG programme, we start to introduce the overseas trips. And you, as a group of uh, students, would go to Barcelona uh, to study the, the infrastructure and the civil engineering in, in that particular city. It's important to realise, of course, civil engineering is a global profession. So we don't just uh, engage with civil engineering in the UK. It's going on in many other countries, too. So that trip to Barcelona is a real uh, good eye-opener. Throughout your studies, you're not on your own. There is a, a support network uh, behind you as you progress through your studies in terms of academic support. All of the academic staff are there to help you with your learning. So if you have any difficulties understanding any of the topics, you turn to a lecturer uh, and, and, and seek help and assistance. If it's more uh, pastoral support that you require, we, the university, of course, offers uh, a, a sophisticated and advanced student support service uh, to, to turn to if, if you need any additional help to help you through your time at university. There is the opportunity to study abroad during your degree. You could spend a semester or two either at our Dubai campus or at our Malaysia campus or indeed at another partner institution uh, in Canada, in the US or in another European nation. 
We do uh, have strong uh, interaction and connections with industry, and that's very much about us making sure our degrees are relevant to what the, the, the needs of the industry are. We're, we're living in a fast-changing time, and the needs of industry change uh, year on year. And what we do is we interact with industry to make sure that we are teaching you and providing you with all the relevant skills, all the subjects that the industrialists want and the companies are looking for. In terms of professional body accreditation, all our degrees are professionally accredited, meaning that you can practice as a professional engineer after you leave university. Uh, we have a vast network of industry links and employers. Some of the sh these companies will take on summer students, so that you, you will get the chance to do a work placement during your degree. Uh, and obviously, we, we turn to these friends in industry to employ our graduates at the end of the degree. We're a large built environment section within uh, the, this part of the university, and that means that we teach students in architectural engineering, construction project management, urban planning, and other related disciplines. And you, as a civil engineering student, get the chance to work alongside these other students in collaborative projects. And that's quite an important aspect because that's how it is in real life. After you leave university, you will not just be working with other civil engineers, you will be working with other professionals uh, in, in the related disciplines. In terms of employment, just to finish off this presentation, we are enjoying excellent employment rates just now of our graduates. We make sure our graduates are well equipped for the needs of industry and that they are very much useful to the companies on day one. So over the past few years, we've enjoyed 100% graduate employability. There's not many other degrees that can claim that sort of figure. So the job press prospects are fantastic. Um, a lot of our graduates will work for consulting engineers, but also a lot of the, the, the students, uh, the graduates rather, will progress and work on construction sites as well. That brings me to the end of my presentation. I hope you found it interesting and relevant, and I look forward to welcoming you, welcoming you to the campus uh, one day. Thank you.